You're still watching Ways Now. International Homeless Animal Day falls on every third Saturday in August, which will be August 15 this year, and is honored with events and increasing participation every year. The International Society for Animal Rights introduced the day to spread awareness about pets overpopulation and has done meaningful work since now including saving lives of millions of animals here's how to observe international homeless day number one donate a shelter number two spray <laughs> spray or neuter your pet and finally adopt or foster a pet do you have a pet Ooh. <laughs> are you talk is this applicable to us in nigeria it's not or abroad we you to donate what? a shelter, to mm. donate shelter for pets. When human for beings animals. are outside, yeah. <laughs> Goodness. Anyway, I don't have a pet, and I have a natural aversion for anything animal. I can't stand it under <laughs> no circumstance. And my husband is a dog lover, but guess what? For every time he brings in dogs into the house, I pray them to sleep. Ew. And they sleep. Oh my god, they go to sleep. Me. I shouldn't <laughs> like all of you on this waste uh, table. I'm, I'm not going to be associated oh, with you people anymore. You love them. I, I, I love cats, I have huh? dogs. Yes, oh my god, like, I don't get you guys. Oh, uh, it's Timmy there. <laughs> I don't get you people. At I can't all. look after yeah. children and look tell after me, you, wait, animals. Tell me, you're a pet lover, first of all. No, she's not. So, so I just wanted to let Olami know that animal lives matter, please. <laughs> All lives matter. <coughs> that being said, um, I'm a very pet lover. I love the dogs that are like puppies that never grow into the, you know, dog size. Just stay that way. Uh, no cats for me, please. So, okay. yes, yeah, selective. Uh, at least you try it small. Maybe a fish. I <laughs> absolutely... <laughs> Have no but I don't think love. we have issues of about population of animals here in Nigeria because, because we, we kill yeah them. we eat them. I yeah. mean, we eat. We don't have stray dogs like that. And we don't have anything that mm -hmm. protect the lives. Animal yeah. rights yeah. is non-existent in, non Nigeria, so. in Nigeria. Nigeria, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. So that's all. What did you find for us, Lamide, in the news? Okay, and it's about the service chiefs in Nigeria, mm -hmm. the head of the military. You know, the the Senate has made a resolution, passed a resolution, urging the president to sack the military um, chiefs and i completely agree with them although a resolution is merely adversary you can't compel the president to, to, to take such um, a decision but i think that coming from the um, from the senate from the national assembly i think it's high time they go mm -hmm. the, the 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 insurgency is going at an alarming rate banditry today kidnapping tomorrow and the number of soldiers we're losing every day is alarming mm -hmm. i think and they've been there for five years mm -hmm. i think it's time to try new hands i really do not understand why the president is keeping them because there's been a lot of agitations towards this and well i i, I listened to yeah. a certain man on radio captain blade i think yeah. Yeah. It would be nice to reach out to him, you know, Absolutely. because he really broke down this service chief's matter well with yeah. um, Uncle Jimmy, Jimmy Disu. Disu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think uh, it would be nice to reach out to him okay. to hear. Yeah. 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 All right, um, Tammy, what did you find for us in the news? Uh, so my news today um, is that, you know, the resident doctors in Edo State have been backed on a three-day uh, warning strike. Yet thing like this is 2020 it's disconcerting that we're still seeing uh the kind of thing you know in the news uh doctors not being paid uh, civil servants zero. to my mind I, I think this issue is even beyond oh i think we're having a, a bit of struggle with uh tammy's internet why well, my story is actually quite. Uh, but I was going to make a comment. Yeah, on, on her story, right? Quickly, let, let me hear you. Anytime comment. I hear anything about the healthcare industry, it's mm. always it's always getting to me. I feel very emotional about it, because these people, this med, number one, we need the healthcare system mm -hmm. to be up and running. Mm -hmm. Look at the healthcare, not healthcare. Look at the pandemic that we have just had and. Every, every we're, we're, we're living, we've not just had it, it's still ongoing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have heard that it's gone in Nigeria, but it's not. And practically everything is shut down. Mm -hmm. Now we have, how many uh, medical doctors do we have in Nigeria? Mm -hmm. Few. 
compared and you're now to still with, now, you're still allowing yes, them to go on a strike. Yes, for the for their entitlement. Mm -hmm. And any country that does not prioritize the healthcare industry is not a serious country at all. Absolutely. No, nothing better to add to that. My story is actually quite an interesting one. So I, I thought to go to the football um, side to the sports. So yesterday night on our way home, we we're just watching. I mean, over the radio, we we're listening to the um, bas the football um, um, match that was played by Bayern Munich and um, Barcelona, and um, the people were saying that is there going to be a, um, how would Messi recover from? It was a woeful. It was a woeful failure. Out. Uh, yeah, they, they said in the history, this is the worst that they have had. So today I had to bring in my my football analyst, <laughs> Sean and Nathan. <laughs> if they are there, Sean, are you there? Good evening. So let them help me analyze. Hi, Sean. So can you quickly tell me what you think went wrong with the football match yesterday between Barcelona and Bayern Munich? Um. Okay. Um. So I think Barcelona wasn't able to dominate on the field because their players were a bit too old. They won so many trophies um, that they weren't really hungry to win this. And Bayern was dominating on the one-two um, oppression that they had against Barcelona. They also had lots of young talents like Nabry. Um, he's a young star. He scored a goal in the game. And Davis, too. Um, he did an, a good assist. Really? So, um, I think they should take away Suarez, he's getting too old, and I'm, sure if, I'm not sure if Messi can leave Barca, but if he does, I heard he might go to his boyhood team in Argentina. Okay, hey, all right. What do you think? All right, Nathan, hold on, Nathan, 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 what do you think? Barca People are calling, getting... can you hear me, Nathan? Yes. People are calling for the sack yes, of the I coach. Can hear you. Yes, people are calling for the sack of the coach. Do you agree with them that the coach should be sacked? Yes. I, yeah, I think he should be. Because Barca is a high-rated team. They can't afford to lose that badly. Like, because they have been winning so many trophies and I'm sure they are getting a bit old. So they need to bring on new people like youngsters who can be hungry for the trophies to win. Awesome. So in your final comments, Sean, so what do you think will be the way forward as, as outside of getting new team players? Do you think that the existing structure, Mercy should remain in the, in the, in the, in the team? What did he say? I said, you think Mercy should yeah, remain in the crazy. team? Crazy. What did he say? I, I don't think. Can you hear me, Sean? I said, do you think Mercy yeah, should remain funny. in the team? I think oh, we're, having think we're having problems with the audio, <laughs> <We're having this. laughs> unfortunately. You know what? Yesterday was not, it was not funny at all. 8-2 oh in the history of Barcelona. Oh <laughs> but I agree with them. You know, a lot of people are actually saying the same thing, that they are not hungry. They had young players. I know you're not a football fan. Don't worry. But <laughs> oh, yeah, I, have to, I have to help them because yesterday night was so funny. They were playing uh, Undertaker music for oh. Barcelona fans. But thank you, Sean and Nathan. They always help me understand football. Me too, really? I'm not a football somebody. Are you serious? <laughs> all right, so that's all we can take you. What's in the news? We'll see you after the break to discuss cosmetic surgery in Nigeria. Please stay with us.